Saurashtra, is an Indo-Aryan language spoken primarily by the Saurashtrians of South India who migrated from present-day Gujarat over a millennium ago. Saurashtra, an offshoot of Saurasini Prakrit, once spoken in the Saurashtra region of Gujarat, is now chiefly spoken in various places of Tamil Nadu and are mostly concentrated in Madurai, Thanjavur, and Salem districts. The language has its own script of the same name, but is also written in the Tamil, Telugu, and Devanagari scripts. The Saurashtra script is of Brahmic origin, although its exact derivation is not known. Unlike most of the surrounding Dravidian languages, Saurashtra is Indo European. There is some debate amongst speakers of the Saurashtra language as to which script is best suited to the language. Census of India places the language under Gujarati. Official figures show the number of speakers as 247,702. Classification <laughs> 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 Saurashtra belongs to the western branch of the Indo-Aryan languages, a dominant language family of the Indian subcontinent. It is part of the greater Indo-European language family. It is also classified as being part of a Gujaratic languages that, alongside Saurashtra includes the languages like Gujarati see Sil Ethnologue. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> Sora is a Sanskrit term meaning flame or dawn of Surya, and the people worshipping Surya or Sora are called as Saurashtrians. The speakers of Saurashtra were once sun worshippers and have built sun temples. As per one school of thought, Saurashtra means 100 nations, Sau plus Rashtra, but as per another school of thought, this is a fractured speech of Su Rashtra and its Prakrit name Saurath, which literally means good country. Many Sanskrit words are coined from the Prakrit language of Saurasini or Sharasini language now called as Saurashtra. History The oldest available inscriptions in Saurashtra are from the period between 487 to 473 BC. These inscriptions are found in Mandasore, which is a city in the Malwa region, present-day Madhya Pradesh. The language is the modern living and active form of ancient Saurasini Prakrit. However, it also shows some similarities with Maharashtri Prakrit, the ancestor of Marathi and Konkani. Saurashtra was once commonly spoken in the coastal areas of Mahi and Tapti rivers, which extends throughout the Malwa region of Madhya Pradesh and Saurashtra region of southern Gujarat. It was also spoken by the people living along Konkan region, which extends throughout the western coasts of Maharashtra, Goa, and Karnataka. Saurashtra is an amalgamation of various present day Indo Aryan languages like Marathi, Konkani, Gujarati, and the older dialects of Rajasthani and Sindhi. However, the current spoken form of Saurashtra is mixed with the Dravidian languages like Kannada, Telugu, and Tamil, and it might have originated in 16th or early 17th century. Geographical distribution Speakers of the Saurashtra language, known as Saurashtrians, maintain a predominant presence in Madurai, Thanjavur, Salem, Dindigul, Tirukirappalli, Tirunelveli, Kanchipuram, Ramanathapuram, Kanyakumari, Chennai, Tiruvannamalai and Velour districts of Tamil Nadu. They are also present in significant numbers in Tirupati of Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. Though official figures are hard to come by, it is believed that the Saurashtra population is anywhere between one-fifth and one-fourth of the city's total population. Dialects In the course of migration, Saurashtrians moved in groups and settled in different regions of South India and that caused a slight dialect variation between each group and is noticeable by a Saurashtrian speaker when interacting with another group. Saurashtra language has two dialects, which are broadly similar, with slight variations. The two dialects are Northern Saurashtra Southern Saurashtra However, there are numerous variations and dialects of the Saurashtra language. The different dialects can be based off the location within northern and southern parts of Tamil Nadu. Those are Madurai, Thanjavur, Salem, Tirunelveli and Kanchipuram dialects and Tirupati dialect of Andhra Pradesh. <laughs> 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 
Phonology The phoneme inventory of Saurashtra is similar to that of many other Indo-Aryan languages, especially that of the Konkani language. An IPA chart of all contrastive sounds in Saurashtra is provided below. Writing system Saurashtra script Saurashtra for most of the part had been an oral language lacking any script of its own, around the 17th–18th century some attempted to write it in Telugu script. Around 19th century a script was invented. There were attempts to revitalize the script in later half of the 19th century, ignoring most of the complex conjunct characters. The Saurashtra script is an abugida, that is, each letter represents a consonant plus vowel syllable. There are 34 such letters. An unmarked letter represents a syllable with the inherent vowel a. Letters can be marked with one of 11 vowel diacritics to represent a syllable with a different vowel. Vowel diacritics are attached to the top right corner of a base letter or written alongside it. There are also 12 letters for writing independent vowels i.e. word initial vowels. The four vocalic liquid letters r, ru, l and lu behave in the same way as vowels, so are often included in the vowel class. Early Saurashtra texts use a number of complex conjunct forms for writing consonant clusters. However, when the script was restructured in the 1880s these were abandoned in favor of a varama diacritic, which silences the inherent vowel of the first consonant in a cluster. The script uses a letter called upakshara, a dependent consonant sign which attaches nasals and liquids to aspirate them. That is, the letter M with upakshara attached represents MHA. An aspirated nasal or liquid which is followed by a vowel other than A is written with the vowel diacritic attached to the upakshara, not to the base letter. Some analyses of the script classify aspirated nasal and liquids as a separate set of single discrete letters divided into two parts. There is a script specific set of numbers 0 to 9, some of which closely resemble Devanagari digits. The widely attested Indic punctuation marks danda and double danda are used to mark the end of a sentence or clause. Latin comma, full stop and question mark symbols are also used. The letter order of Saurashtra script is similar to other Brahmic scripts. The letters are vowels, consonants, and the compound letters which are formed essentially by adding a vowel sound to a consonant. Vowels. Topic Consonants Topic Compound Letters Topic Numerals Topic Devanagari script Recently, Saurashtrians adopted Devanagari script for writing. The alphabet chart containing vowels, consonants and the compound letters in Devanagari script are as follows. <laughs> Limitations Firstly, Devanagari script is not developed by the Saurashtrians. Secondly, if Devanagari script is even adopted to write Saurashtra language, it will look like oblique literature and would not be developed further as it cannot be used among the people as they are currently living in a state not of their own and it would not include the Dravidian features of the language. <laughs> <laughs> Loanwords The language itself is more similar to modern-day Gujarati and Marathi as both originated from Prakrit. However, in the course of migration to South India, the language was influenced by Dravidian languages such as Telugu and Kannada and accumulated words from those language in its vocabulary as loanwords. Magazines <laughs> 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 In recent times, the rising awareness about Saurashtra language among the young generation has led to the publication of magazines. The following are the list of magazines currently published Bhashabhimani Saurashtratime e-journal Zeeg Saurashtra Mithran 
Saurashtra Samachar Literature The literature of Saurashtra is not as large as the literature of other literary languages such as Sanskrit, Tamil and Telugu. The earliest available Saurashtra literature that survives to this date is the Saurashtra translation of the great Sanskrit epic of Ramayana. It was written by Venkatasuri Swamigal 1800 AD, a Sanskrit scholar and disciple of Venkatamana Bhagavathar who lived in Ayampatai of Thanjavur district. Other important literary works in Saurashtra are Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita 1953 AD, written by T. R. Padmanabhaiyar Tirukural Saurashtra Tirukural Payaram Pitika Pragaranam 1980 AD, translated by Sankhu Ram Mahabharata Pandavan Ketho 2013 AD, written by Kassan Anantham Salapadikaram 2018 AD, translated by S. D. Nanaswaran. Besides Tarukural, Sankhu Ram has done many literary works in Saurashtra like Nanamrtha Geetham, Shittashrama Prabhavam and so on. The first Saurashtra dictionary was brought out by T. M. Rama Rai, the author of Vachana Ramayana, in 1908. It was printed in Saurashtra script and was in the form of slokas. Apart from these he is also credited for Nidhi Sambhu and Natanagopala Nayaki Swami's Kirthanas. The Sahitya Akademi Award is given to authors writing in the Saurashtra language since 2007. A former Sanskrit professor of Saurashtra College in Madurai, T.R. Damodaran won the award for his book Jiva Sabda Kosam, a compilation of 1,333 Saurashtra words with English and Tamil meanings. However, Saroja Sundararajan was also awarded for Yogendran Manam Singaru Latin in Tamil, Yogendra Thalaverkalan Manathili Ezihuntha Azagya Aligal, a rendition of works of Adi Sankara's Saundaryalahiri, Kanagadhara Stotra, and Mahishashuramarthini Stotra, Natana Gopala Nayagi Swami's Moishi Dashad, Subramanian Mahatmyam, and Songs of Sai Baba. <laughs> See also Saraustas Saurashtra Kingdom Saurashtra region Saurashtra state Saurashtra people Saurashtra script Saurashtra unicode block Gujarati languages <laughs>